Grant Thorne is a, a, a very um, uh, charismatic man. You know, he, he grows on you real fast. He's, he's fun to be around. He jokes. He's got a contagious smile, um, and he's able to use that his um, those traits to be a great instructor. You know, just relay information. Um, in fact, the time I've spent with him is uh, learning has been in invaluable. You know, he's he's he's, he's got a, a gift of being able to read you as an individual and teach to you uh, in a way that. You helps you learn in the way that you learn and what you need to learn and uh, so uh, great 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 experiences you um you you embody that in, in how you teach now too right like I, I'm, I'm maybe yeah it's, it's possible I do you know great one of the things that uh, Grant Tohon always um, preaches is you, you learn to teach then you teach to learn and when you say you learn to teach is because he likes to build leaders and structures and then and then you teach to learn, and so the more you teach, the more you actually learn. It's, like it's, it's one of the biggest learning processes, and I, I, I really um, agree with that. I, 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 um, and I try to pass that on as I teach also. Renzo and Leo Gahe staying at my house once, and he's like, oh, it's a full moon. We're going to do what my granddad and I used to do. And we did double six, and he beat my hands up for about an hour and a half. With him, it's like, Okay, guys, we're at the mall. We're gonna do a demo now. Come on, let's go. And, like, <laughs> and you never should, you never are prepared with him. And I think that's a good thing. I think it sets you up for the life because, or you know, martial events or fighting or whatever you want to call it. Because we're gonna go now. What are we gonna do? Just go. You know. And I think that's that's a fun. That's one of the fun things just to be around him. You never know what's coming next. Every day is an adventure you know, around Grand Tuhon and um, you know, he, he, people that like karaoke, he'll be your, <laughs> he'll, he'll be your best friend. Everyone's, everyone's got the karaoke stories with Grand Tuhon and he's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a legend in his own mind yep. when it comes to singing. So, uh, 8 a.m. It doesn't matter. It's never too early to karaoke. Like. Did he have yeah. a song like that was his? Oh, what it, they called the Pombato? Don't yeah. cry for me, Argentina, for a little while there. All the girls I've loved before. All the girls I've yeah. Um, uh, 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 oh, Caroline, yeah, or whatever it's that called, was uh, for a while. But uh, it it it, cha it rotates through the through, right. through, uh, through through time. I can remember being at um, conferences where we would try and hide the karaoke machine that they had at the resort where the conference was. <laughs> but when he found it, we would be literally training and he'd have the volume up and be in the middle of the training singing karaoke while everyone's trying to focus on their because here we'd be breakout sessions we'd be teaching <laughs> while he's doing karaoke i mean it's fun 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 memories um and and on the topic of of, of his genius as an instructor i recall one of the last private training sessions i spent with him i videoed it and he was trying to teach me something and i and i i wasn't getting it and i was uh it was about my body mechanics little subtleties and i I thought, ah, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm doing it right, and and afterwards, as I looked at myself on the video, I actually realized yeah. what he was telling me, and I just couldn't comprehend it at the time. And so, so um, some of the, you know, the, the uh, his, his eye for detail when it comes to working with you and your, as an individual. Yeah. Definitely think back, and uh, exactly, that's what light bulbs go off all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in this, you know, now that I'm not young anymore. I mean, having mentors and people that can train you is invaluable. Yeah. And the fact that he will like, he also kept athleticism in, and cardio and things like that in this art. Like he can just be like, I'll just stab you, fight's over. That's easy, I can do that. But he was always promoting and pushing you further than you thought you could. Like we're at a thousand, he's like, okay, one. You know, and then you do another thousand and it's like, I did it. You know, and it, it was cool. Yeah, like he, he, he understands the importance of the, the, the physical attributes behind the technique. And a lot of people don't, because of the way he teaches that, a lot of people don't get it, you know. But um, it's, it, it, he's, he's always been of that opinion that your one and two is only um, as valuable as how good you perform that one and two with some speed and power and accuracy. Um, and all of that other fancy stuff doesn't count if you don't have a good one and two, right? <laughs> right. So that was always his philosophy. And he, as, fa as capable as he is of, of all the fancy stuff, the mind-boggling mm -hmm. movement that he has, he wants you to learn the, the stuff that actually is going to function. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah.